First up, we're in St Kilda West in Melbourne. Bessie is getting a first-hand look at the new renovation project by Nicole Chapman of Empire Interiors. So we've just arrived in St Kilda West where we're going to meet up with my girlfriend and, by the way, design guru, Nikki Chapman. On one of those classic St Kilda leafy streets, by the bay, trams hurtling past, you can almost smell the coffee. This is Melbourne living at its best. And this is the prime location of Nicole's latest project. Now, Nikki is the ultimate queen of savviness and she somehow manages to make something mediocre into something amazing every single time. A classic Edwardian building circa 1900s, the apartment we're about to see is ripe for renovation with soaring pressed tin ceilings and solid structural bones. It just needs someone with the vision and the know-how to realise its full potential. We're going to see the entire transformation of this two-bedroom apartment and show you how a seriously good interior designer can even excel in a seriously small space. Hello, amazing ceiling. Right? Yeah, I get it. I know why you've decided to choose this one as your build. Definitely. I think from the moment I walked in and saw that. Yeah. So that's original. I would say early 1900s. It's sort of Edwardian. Yeah. And then it's had a renovation which looks like kind of early 2000s, maybe late 90s, mm -hmm. where the opposite happen so it was just kind of cheap and cheerful and like let's make all the doors smaller and yes. floors simpler and take out all that detail take out all the prettiness yeah that's what they so do we're going to bring it back it's a two bedroom yep two yeah. bedroom one bath and a kitchen dining living so it's a little house Dining here with a beautiful marble fireplace, which yeah. we're installing, and then a gorgeous custom built-in, which you can probably hear the boys building out there. Yeah, there's a lot going um, on today. This is so cool. I love the way that you turn the lights on. It's amazing. When the electrician first came in, they're like, okay, so we're making all of these switches. I'm like, hell no, they yeah. are staying. I'm so excited about them. I love that you pull the light to turn on. Shall we have a look at the rest of the house? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Light in here, isn't that's beautiful to work with? It's definitely got a beautiful outlook, yep. and I loved the light in here. Yeah, but we're talking less than two meters. It's tiny. Total width. <laughs> like it's tiny. It's a next level tiny for me. That's awesome. And I think it took the longest to design for that reason. I guess that's the important part of when you actually purchase having that vision because you've been really clever in the way that you've got a space that's small, yeah, but it has so much light, but definitely. it has so much height. You know what I mean? So it ticks all those main things because yeah. it's hard to add light and it's hard to add height. Yeah. But you can do custom built cabinetry quite easily. So as long as you're smart in the design of that joinery, yeah. then you kind of get best of all worlds. So it had the bones. We're still going to have 4.5 metres of solid bench space to work on, which yeah. is quite huge yeah. for a two bedroom apartment in St Kilda West. Okay, so your bathroom is through there? Yeah, bathroom's just through here off the kitchen. Yeah, and so where's your master? Right through here. Do you want to go check it out? Yes, please. Oh, wow, this is awesome. So the bed will go against the main wall here so yep. you'll get all of that kind of afternoon oh, sunshine, amazing. which is just gorgeous. And then over in the corner is the piste resistance, <gasps> the window seat, which we've had custom built, which again, you can probably hear being made. That's gonna be so worth it. So I can beautiful. picture that. Like it's got so much light pouring in there. Those windows are actually a perfect shape. Instead of having that as a dedicated study area, we thought we'd have that as a beautiful extra seating. It's actually the size of a single bed. Oh, wow. So it's actually going to work as a sort of spare bedroom when people come and stay, yeah. um, which will be perfect, and heaps of storage too. Have you blown your budget? I mean, if you don't blow your budget, are you even an interior designer? Yeah. <laughs> um, look, I definitely like to stay within kind of a 10% rule. I sort of got this for 6.30 and then factoring stamp duty. So 63 was yeah. kind of where I wanted it to be. It's so easy just to go and buy the most expensive yeah. thing in every category, but where's the fun in that? So I actually like having the restriction of, yes, it fits and yes, it can get here, but it didn't make budget. That process that really makes a renovation successful. So how long have we got until we see the final reveal? We've got six weeks. Oh, that's nothing. It's really nothing. Um, from here, it's really fast. We've got joinery, finishing, uh, flooring, paint, yep. lighting, and then all the pretty stuff, all the styling and the furniture, and then dinner party. Wow, I just know your work so well, so I know it's going to be incredible, and I can't wait to see it. It's going to be beautiful. Thanks, guys. <laughs> It doesn't look like much now, but wait until you see what Nicole does with this small space. It will seriously blow you away. Stay tuned for an incredible reveal.
A few months later, Bessie heads back to St Kilda West to see the reveal of her friend Nicole Chapman's latest renovation project, this classic Edwardian era apartment. And the apartment transformation is not the only big change to happen recently. Bessie has had her baby. Nikki, I bring you a new addition. I made a house and you made a baby. Well Check done. Check it out. <laughs> we did really good. <laughs> That is awesome. This is little baby Sunny. Oh, she's beautiful. I'm so glad she could come and visit outside of the tummy this time. I know. <laughs> so this is her little home and this is your amazing home that you've just created. Thank you. I've got my mum here today so I'm going to pass little Sunny off Aww. and I've shown you mine. So now you can show me your beautiful house. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's go. Nikki, it baffles me. I don't know how you get a little space and make it a beautiful palace every single time. I think that's part of what I love doing the most is having the challenge of a small space and then being able to integrate really smart either storage or really beautiful detail to kind of just create a more cohesive space. Yeah. What is amazing about this place is the ceiling height. How high is it? Uh, 4.2 in Jeez. most of the areas and, um, okay. and then even in some of the smaller sections you're still looking at sort of 3.2 which is still taller than a standard home. You know what I do like? You have kept so many old worldly um, little features in here. The fact that you've got that ceiling in the yep. lounge room is incredible. It's obviously why you bought the apartment it to start is. with. <laughs> And you've kept so many of those little details all the way through. So we added, you know, things like the arch in the hallway and all of the wainscoting on the walls. It just adds that traditional element. It's still very elegant and French, yeah. um, but it just adds that feeling of home in an otherwise all white space. These floors are pretty incredible. Beautiful engineered timber by Terramata and they're hand laid by Eastern Flooring Centre. Those guys came in, they are artists. They hand cut each piece and they you know, work out the angles to how it's going to go down the hallway and yeah. they just nailed it. It's my favourite thing in the whole house, which is why everything else is so simple around it. Mm -hmm. This kitchen is not huge. It's a good little kitchen. Yep. And you've really done great things with the storage. Yeah, everything's integrated. So things like even the electric cooktop being sort of flush to the bench. Okay. Um, and our guys at Satan Cabinets helped him customise all of the Hayfully appliances and all of the things like the pull-out drawers and the integrated dishwasher, integrated fridge so everything looks like it's seamless within the joinery. I remember when we came last time and you had someone here working on the kitchen yeah. and the transformation is incredible it's just got that brightness and the light that comes through and it just rebounds up everything. This gorgeous window I think is you know one of the things that adds so much beautiful light and a sense of space to this kitchen mm -hmm. and again using really clean crisp elements like the really clean version of a marble bench it means it's easier and more durable but it reflects the light from the windows. So what an awesome little bathroom that you've got in there. Amazing choice of tiles and I love the door knocker. Yeah, that's my favourite <laughs> piece. In fact, I bought that about um, three months before I even found the home. I just loved it and I thought, I don't know where you're going, but you'll go somewhere in a project. Fist pump every time we walk past. It's so good. <laughs> it's so you and it's so Max as well, your son. Um, you know, you guys live here and everything yep. in this house screams everything that you are. So Max, your son is seven years old, but that bedroom is just not a typical seven-year-old bedroom. Yes, poor Max. Any child of mine is going to have a beige kid. Yeah. It kind of is what it is. <laughs> so my son Max loves dogs, yeah. and we wanted to integrate that theme without being too cheesy and over the top. So there's some gorgeous sort of hand-drawn artworks and this beautiful lamp in there. Um, and the room then translates from kids' room to guest room when my mum comes and stays yeah. or when we have guests. So if you're not going to get Max a dog, get him a lamp, for starters. <laughs> Much easier when like you go on holidays. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> and then does Max sleep on that day bed when your mum comes and, and stays here or when you do have a guest? Yeah, definitely. So that is the exact same size as a single bed for yeah. that purpose. We've got single bed bedding for that. And so anyone can sleep on there. So we've almost so kind of make a little three bedroom vibe if we need to. I'm just in awe of what you create here, Nikki. I don't know how you do it time after time, but being around you, I feel like I get better at interior design with your little tips and, and your flair. Oh, well, thanks, Bess. <laughs> yeah, it's so great. I'm busting to get into that lounge room and just sit down and chill because the space is incredible and maybe we can have some baby cuddles Let's too. Let's have baby cuddles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Nikki, this is the most beautiful, cosy spot, and I can imagine you just sit here so many times and just look around and go, did good. 
Yeah, I really do actually. Actually, I did for the first time the other day. I sat here and I was like, I really love this space. It's moments like this, sitting with friends on a couch with kids, mm. is really like what my real life is about. And yeah. so I wanted the house to harbour that. That fireplace, that's amazing. Yeah, well, that was tucked behind a blank wall, totally bricked in. Yucky. So we kind of uncovered that. And then what did you do with it? Have, is that existing, like the whole thing around it? Or have you So we got a it? gorgeous mantle from Shots. Uh -huh. It's just beautiful and like a, a, a remake cast iron insert. Yeah. Um, and it really kind of denotes to the original what would have been there, yeah. but in a modern way as well. Yeah, and then you've definitely gone modern with the lights, the pendants. They are beautiful and you kind of pick them up in most rooms. So gorgeous. Where are they from? Yeah, I got those online um, from a store called Sokol. Mm -hmm. The styling in this space is sort of more modern luxe, mm. more than it is kind of traditional or Hamptons or provincial or anything like that. And yeah. I think they really are statement pieces. Oh, yeah, it's a perfect contradiction because, you know, you've got that old fashioned, you've got the old world, and then the little bits of modern that you've put in, nailed. We've built a uh, relationship with Empire Interiors over the last year doing a lot of our colour selection stuff, so then doing a job for Nicole on her own house was very exciting. And she's very thorough, very professional in everything she does, so it was a real chance for us to step up and give her exactly what she wanted. When you've got such an old building and you're trying to modernise it, there's always going to be, you know, things that are tricky along the way. But when you have this vision from the beginning and you just kind of go for it, to me, I find that easy for some reason. Wow. And it's not easy. Yeah. It's actually not. <laughs> That's not normal. <laughs> you have done it again. Empire Interiors have just absolutely smashed this and floored me. <laughs> um, we are so incredibly comfortable in here. Thank you so much for letting us have a look around, us girls. My pleasure. Thank you, ladies, for coming. Yay. <laughs>